If you're curious about what the best PvP shotguns are in Season 22 of Destiny, then don't worry, I got you covered. In today's video, I'll be showing you 7 shotguns that are still obtainable and each of them are amazing in PvP. I'm also going to be putting each of them onto a tier list after I look at each individual one of them, solely based off my opinion, so don't bring out the pitchforks and come after me. I'm just trying to give my advice and help people out, so yeah. But anytime you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe for more Destiny 2 videos from me. Now let's jump right into the video. Starting off with the first shotgun on the list, we have the Found Verdict, which is an aggressive frame arc shotgun. This weapon is obtained from the Vaults of Glass raid. It can get upwards of 50 range, which is pretty good on an aggressive frame. But if you get the right perk combo, you can push over 100 range on this thing. And also, if you want to go through all the master challenges at Vaults of Glass, you can get the time loss version of this weapon, which will of course allow you to put adept weapon mods on this thing, so you can deck it out even more. Starting off with perks, on the first column, we have Slide Shot or Surplus. Surplus is good, but it's more situational because it relies on you having your abilities fully charged. But slide shot is definitely king for shotguns because usually everyone who uses a shotgun is very pushy because anytime you slide, you're granted 20 range and 30 stability for three seconds or until firing, which is insane for shotguns. And on the second slot, you have opening shot and killing winds. I personally like opening shot. Opening shot on shotguns is just a must. With opening shot, your first shot will have 20 extra aim assist and another 25 range. So if you match it up with slide shot, you're getting 45 range anytime you start an attack. So if you get 50 to 55 range in your found verdict, you'll be pushing 95 to 100 range on this thing, which is crazy and you're going to be destroying people in PvP. This has been my most used shotgun in all my Destiny years and I have to say, it is super easy to get and it's super worth it, so I'll definitely add this to your arsenal and give it a try yourself. I know this is my most used shotgun, but I promise there's no bias. This is a really good weapon and you should definitely give it a try, so S tier. The next shotgun on the list we have is the Wastelander, which is a lightweight frame in the kinetic slot that is obtained from Dares of Eternity and is also craftable. So you know what that means, enhanced perks. This weapon has been one of the top lightweight frames ever since it came out, and the fact that it's also craftable just makes it even better to use. In the first column, you can get Perpetual Motion and Slide Shot. Whenever you're in motion for a given period of time, you can get two stacks, resulting in you getting plus 20 stability, handling, and reload speed just from that perk. And with the shotgun, for the most part, you're going to be running around and pushing people so this perk will always be active which means that perpetual is a great option for the shotgun and then moving on to the second column we have opening shot and killing wind anytime you get a kill with killing wind you're granted 50 mobility 40 handling and 20 range which is insane so no matter if you're using slide shot matched up with killing wind or opening shot or perpetual matched up with killing wind or opening shot you're getting over 80 range no matter what and sometimes even pushing up to 100 which makes this one of the best lightweight shotguns and one of the most stable and easy to use just because of the fact that Wastelander hits like a truck, I'm gonna put an A tier, and it's craftable, so that makes it even better, so yeah, definitely an A tier shotgun. Moving on to the only precision frame shotgun on the list, we have the Matador 64. It's an arc shotgun that goes in the special slot and is obtained from the Grasp of Avarice dungeon. This weapon is seen very often in the Crucible because of how easy it is to get and how reliable it also is in PvP. In the first column, you can get either Perpetual, Threat Detector, and Pulse Monitor. And in the second column, you can get Opening Shot and Killing Wind. Threat Detector is also a very good perk to have on shotguns because you get increased reload speed, stability, and handling whenever enemies are in close proximity. It can stack up to one to two times based on how many enemies are around you. This perk just makes a lot of sense because you have to be in close proximity to use a shotgun, so having extra stats while you're doing that is also great. When your stacks are fully up, you can get 15 to 40 bonus stability, 18 to 60 bonus reload speed, and 25 to 100 handling bonus. I personally have one with threat detector and opening shot, which means that I'm getting 100 range, 95 stability, 100 handling, 100 reload speed, and 85 aim assistance whenever all these things are proc together, which is crazy for a shotgun, and is why you see people using it so often. So yeah, definitely go and farm these if you haven't already. The dungeon is super easy, and you can definitely get people to help you out with it. Most of us already know that Matador is an S tier shotgun, so of course, S tier. This weapon is super easy to obtain, and it feels really nice to use. Next on the list, we have the Inquisitor, which is our first pinpoint slug frame. It goes in the special slot and it's arc and it is obtained from Trials of Osiris. There is an adept version, but I don't believe it's currently in the rotation, but you can still use your engrams to buy the normal ones and focus them at same 14. Obviously, since this is a pinpoint slug, this weapon maps. In the first column, you can get perpetual motion with pulse monitor, and in the second column, you can get opening shot or fragile focus. Fragile focus is basically the same as opening shot, but opening shot gives you more. Fragile focus 
only gives you plus 20 range, whereas opening shot gives you 20 aim assist and 25 range. So opening shot's still the better option, but fragile focus is also good. Get a good barrel and magazine, and you'll have this thing easily pushing 100 range and have really good stability and handling. It's one of my favorite slug shotguns. It really just feels like a legendary version of the chaperone. So yeah, if you have any spare trials on grams and you're looking for a good special slug shotgun, definitely try out the Inquisitor. I'm not really a fan of pinpoint slugs, but it's all around a great weapon. If you like to be more accurate and get headshots, you'll always one-shot kill your opponents from a greater distance than what I like to use as in aggressive frames and lightweight frames. So just because it's not my style, I'm putting it at B tier, but it's a nice shotgun for sure. The fifth shotgun I have on the list is Imperial Decree, which is an aggressive frame in the kinetic slot. This weapon is obtained from Season of Defiance and can still be obtained through the helm with Defiant Engrams. This weapon can easily get 55 range with base stats and then push up to almost 100 with good perks. In the first column, you can get Slide Shot, Surplus, or Threat Detector. And then the second column, you can get Opening Shot, Snapshot Sights. The best out of these would probably be Slide Shot matched up with Opening Shot, but Snapshot Sights isn't bad if you really like to aim in when you shoot your shotgun i personally hit fire a lot of the time but if you like to aim in snapshot sights might not be a terrible option but if you have the choice probably opening shot go for small bore and accurize and you'll have a pretty decent shotgun with the perks active you're probably getting around 91 range and 65 stability get a range master work on that thing you can easily get 100 sadly i didn't buy season of defiance so i can never get this shotgun but my friends use it and they all love it and I get messed up by it all the time, so it must be good. Imperial Decree is a super strong shotgun, especially since you can craft it just like the Wastelander, so I'm also going to throw it right next to the Wastelander in A tier. It's not quite S tier for me, but it is a really nice feeling shotgun. Next on the list, we have my baby, the Reese Walker Lightweight Frame Kinetic from Iron Banner. This is one of my all-time favorite lightweight shotguns. I've been using it for a long time. They don't give it an iron banner anymore, but you can focus it. And this weapon can get some insane stats. In the first column, you can get slideways, hip fire grip, or a quick draw. In the second slot, you can get iron reach, which gives you plus 20 range, but minus 30 stability. I don't think the loss in stability really matters, especially with the shotgun. I don't really care about stability because I'm only shooting once. It's really not that bad. And also the stability you lose from iron reach, you get back from slideways anyways. So it really just cancels each other out. Out and you get more range and then you can also get killing wind but definitely the god roll would be slideways iron reach with accurized rounds and rifled barrel with that you can get 95 range if you have a range master work and still have about 70 handling which is pretty good i have a couple thousand kills with mine and it's definitely one of my favorite primary shotguns to this day all right i'm not gonna have any bias for my reese walker it is a really nice feeling lightweight shotgun but it is not s tier i'm not gonna put it up there if it ever has the option to be crafted maybe up in the a to s tier area but for now i'm just gonna put it b tier even though it's one of my favorite shotguns i'm just trying to be honest with myself it could be better but i'm just so used to using it i like it a lot all right we finally made it to the last shotgun on my list this weapon happens to be the sword breaker from the crota zen raid it's a strand kinetic weapon and it's also a lightweight frame I was actually pretty surprised when I tried out this weapon at first. I didn't think it would be good because I heard the last version of it was bad. But the rolls you can get in this thing are pretty nice. In the first column, you can pick between Elemental Capacitor, Slide Shot, and Threat Detector. And then in the second column, you can get Opening Shot. And also, this weapon is craftable. It is a raid weapon, so it might take a little bit longer to get all the red borders for it, but you can craft it, enhance all these perks, and it can be pretty decent in the Crucible. Yes, this weapon has good perks, but I don't really like how it feels all the way. It's still a very good shotgun, but in my opinion, I have to put it at B, but a crafted enhanced version, probably in the A tier. But yeah, this is where my top 7 shotguns rank on my list, and make sure to let me know your guys' opinions below. So yeah, guys, that brings us to the end of my video. I hope this video gave you a better idea of what some good shotguns are that you could be using right now in Destiny. And of course, let me know what your favorite one is in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Epoxy, and until next time, peace.